And Natasha was diagnosed at eight months of age uh, with Dravet syndrome caused by a non sense mutation in SCN1A. Since Natasha's first seizure at six months of age, Natasha's life and our journey as a family has been challenging, to say the least. Natasha has had many seizures throughout her life, and they have varied. They have varied in frequency, seizure type, duration, response to rescue meds, triggers. Um, when she was younger, Natasha's seizures usually ended up in status, and at the end, she ended up in the hospital, hospitalized. About five uh, years ago, Natasha was having 30 to 40 seizures every night, every single night. About three years ago, we were able to control those seizures with a new medication, actually Fintepla. Today, Natasha is having around two to three seizures per week. Is there something that's been constant with Natasha's seizures? Thank you. Is uh, unpredictability. We always know it's gonna happen. We don't know when, where, or how, and what the outcome is gonna be. Natasha's condition has had a profound impact on our family. It has impacted career choices, education for my children, where we live, and of course, daily life is greatly impacted. But Dravé is much more than seizures. Like it was just said, seizures is only a small component, but what really impacts Natasha and the rest of the family is every other issue that comes with Dravé and other types of epilepsies as well. Natasha is no longer ambulatory. She's wheelchair bound. Um, at two, uh, 12 years of age, she has a cognitive development of a two-year-old. Uh, behavior is challenging. Um, Natasha's screams have become a part of our daily life at our home. Natasha requires monitoring and care 24-7. Despite all this, we remain hopeful in the future. We believe that someday there will be a treatment that will be able to treat Natasha's condition, not only target her seizures. We are hopeful that one day Natasha and many other patients living with rare epilepsies and epilepsy in general will be able to have a, a better life. So with that, we just wanna, we, me and my family just wanna thank you for your hard work in improving the lives of people living with, with epilepsy. Thank you.